Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is a very special day because I am finally going to open my package that came in today. Um, it is the Moxie Fun Day wheels and I have been waiting forever for these. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and open them and I'll kind of talk as I'm doing the thing. I have quite a few sets of wheels already, but I am trying to find some that I think are going to upgrade my ability. I know that that sounds really silly, but uh, yeah, I just, I have some sure grip boardwalk wheels and those are great for like trail skating and anything like that has to do, oh my god, they're so pretty, with skating outside on bumpy terrain, but I lose agility because of how large they are. I can kind of show you the difference. Um, that one's about falling out of the package. These are my sure grip boardwalk wheels. They're very gummy. They're 78A and they're large, like they're very thick. So they're great for like bumping over stuff, but they're not great for like spins dancing, anything like that. So I am ready to get something a little bit more agile. And after watching many, many reviews and videos, I've decided to go with these, the Moxie Fun Day wheels. So right off the bat, like they're pretty. I decided to get the bubble gum and the uh, jade. And honestly, they're smaller than I expected too. But that's what the package looks like. It's supposed to look like, you know, ice cream fun day. Uh, they're so much lighter than I thought they would be. It says beginner at the skate park, advanced in the streets. So they're supposed to be good for street skating and skate parks. Um, I really was concerned about how these are going to do on the road and where I skate at an abandoned warehouse. But at the warehouse that I skate at, the... Um, the ground is very smooth, um, and I already have outdoor wheels, so I wanted to try something harder. Oh, wow. They're so much lighter than I expected, you guys. They're so much lighter. Wow. Like, they kind of feel tacky a little bit. Um, let me turn my light down just a little bit. They kind of feel, they do kind of feel gummy, and they're, that's like a... What is that, like plastic on the inside or nylon? I don't know. I didn't expect it. They do have a seam on the edge. I thought that that, you know, I don't know. I've seen that before on wheels before and I don't know. I'm kind of talking out of my butt right now, but um, I've seen seams on wheels before and I thought they were a bad thing, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Let's zoom it in. Zoom it in. I hope that these are going to be amazing. Um, they're supposed to be better for like doing different tricks and stuff because they're smaller in diameter and they have that curved edge. There's a little bit of a, there's like a, a little piece of plastic sticking up. Yeah. There's plastic sticking up at the top. This one does not look so good. Oh, well, um, I don't love the logo on the front of them, like the little picture of the ice cream. I just feel like, in my opinion, it's gonna end up rubbing off really easily and it's gonna end up looking very odd, but you know, whatever. There's another one on that side. Is there one on each side? Yeah, there's like a little, there's a hole in the tops of every single one of these. I wonder why. Either way, um, I guess we'll find out if it's a problem. It's very, very colorful. You can see the swirls very easily and it's so pretty. Like, honestly, it looks like strawberry ice cream to me. I don't know. I feel like they shouldn't have called this one bubblegum. They should have called it strawberry because that's what it looks like to me. Okay, let's get this other one open. So I'm going to do alternating colors. I'm going to do two of each on, on each skate. Those feel the same. They feel the same. Ah, these are the jade, the jade ones. This is probably the worst time for me to be filming this because I just feel completely scatterbrained. I have been editing footage literally all day today and it's been rainy and stormy and it's just been kind of a hectic week. So I'm out of it. I apologize that this is not like great quality. <laughs> 
I am doing my best here, but I was just really excited. I didn't want to have to wait anymore. So these are the jade ones. They do have strawberries on them. I see that. Um, also, they do have some little bits of plastic poking up. You can see them around the edges. Hopefully it'll be okay. They're going to get worn down. Okay. So I have every single one of them. Um, they're tacky. I can't describe how they feel. They feel kind of soft. I don't know. I expected more of like... I don't know why. I know they're not ceramic wheels, but I was kind of expecting almost like a ceramic kind of feel. So, I don't know. Um, that's how I'm going to do them on each skate. The box says... Both Salty and Sweet, Moxie's Fun Day Hybrid Street and Skate Park Wheels are a unique combination of what we do most in everyday skating, never stop. We don't want to stop to change our wheels for different surfaces either. That's why we plan for non-stop, all-day, long excursions with Fun Day Wheels. Classic outdoor wheels are much too blubbery for the skate parks, and harder park wheels are difficult to do much else with, so we created Fun Day Wheels. That's true. That's very true. I have gone through a skate park before on my outdoor wheels and you just can't get any speed but I didn't know that at first <laughs> um they grip onto the surfaces too much fun day formula is fast and resilient on asphalt and sidewalk commuting it holds its shape for transitioning floors at skate parks the shape of the wheel is narrow enough to pivot safely out of bells and carved in a way to avoid getting caught up on the coping which I highly doubt I'm ever gonna do but maybe one day maybe one day um, okay, so now that we have these, I did also make another purchase, and I haven't done anything with them because I've been waiting. Um, yeah, I kind of splurged, like, a month ago, and this is honestly good that I did splurge because my dog just had to go to the ER this past weekend, and yeah, that bill ended up being, like, $3,000, so I'm glad that I ended up already having purchased these otherwise I would have been wait I would have been waiting forever. So this is the um the Moxie mixtape bearings. They say that they're super smooth and yeah, they are coming in a cassette. I'm about to ruin it. But they come in a cassette holder like if you remember the cassettes from uh you know, the 90s. Yeah. Uh but anyways, I've opened it incorrectly somehow. But I'm going to take out the bearings. And the reason why I had to buy new bearings instead of just reusing my old ones is because um, <laughs> I accidentally ruined a set of cube bearings. That's Q-U-B-E. And I talked about them in my bearing cleaning kit video. And essentially... Yeah, I was trying to clean all the bearings that I own, and my cubes got, they got kind of messed up. One of the bearings got screwed up because a ball fell out of the inner side of the bearing, and then I lost the little spacer that held it in place, and then I lost the crush sleeve. So, it, even though it was probably about time to replace them, I'm just sad that I had to do it before I was ready, because I'm the kind of person that I will wear something out before I replace it. Um, But we do have... Two different colors. We've got the purple and the green. So I'm thinking about doing once again. Um, how am I trying to do this here? Yeah, I want to do alternating colors. It doesn't seem like that's going to work though. We have one. Wait, what is going? Oh my gosh! Look, they're different colors on each side. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Okay, I can make this work. Yeah, like that. That's what I want to do. And I'll just do different colors on the inside. Okay, so I've got the bearings. I've got the wheels. And now I'm going to replace my Moxie Panther wheels. Yay! With these. So the Moxie wheels are going to go on my Moxie skates. These uh, wheels that came with the Panthers are going to go on my Impala skates. Right here. And the bearings that are in these are going to go, yeah, basically this wheel itself is just all of it bearing included is going on my Impala skates. And yeah, that's where we're going from here. And then eventually I'll get a cheap set of 
bearings to put in the Britney skates because they're going to need a new set of bearings. Anyways, so let's go ahead and do this. I can't believe how these feel. They feel so soft. It's so surprising to me. Like, gummy. Not like this, though. Like, these... These feel gummy, but these just feel like... I don't know. It definitely feels like the polyurethane that they're supposed to be. Alright, here we go. Let's do a green one in there. That's going to be harder to get in. Really hope I don't mess this up. These are so much harder to get the bearings in than my other ones. This is what I get because the last time that I did a video on bearings and wheels... I talked about how I've not really had a set of wheels that was hard to get the bearings into. Well, this is what I get for saying that because these are very hard to get the bearings into. So I'm going to have to press them with the wheel and I don't like to do that because I'm afraid I'm going to damage it. But it's on there. I mean, I hope that... Oh my god, that's so smooth. Okay, let me do one thing. There. Sorry, I was getting way too much light in from the window, but yeah, that's the first one on there. Wow, you can see like the size difference. Well, kind of. Actually, I feel like they're not much smaller, but look at that. They just go. And then there's the difference right there in the curve. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't wait. We're not wasting our time. We're just going to go ahead and do it. The only sad part is that currently it's stormy outside in my part of town, so I can't take these to the warehouse and try them out afterwards because there's been thunder and lightning literally all day today, and I'm pretty sure it's going to do the same thing tomorrow, which is just like absolutely pathetic is kind of what I want to say. just makes me really sad. Um, now, one thing is that these aren't really going to match the aesthetic on these skates, which is um, kind of like a black and green alien theme. And I did consider buying the Luminous wheels. I think they were like the 98As. But I decided to go with the Fun Days because these are the ones that, I don't know, I see them on, I see them on like TikToks and stuff being just much more smooth looking and people who use them just apparently are really good at like jam skating and stuff which is something that I eventually want to get better at is like dance skating. I'm not, I'm just not good at it now. I'm not a very coordinated person. I don't have a great set sense of rhythm. Anything that I can do in my life that's like athletic has just been from sheer determination and has nothing to do with my own actual ability. So I decided to go with the Fun Day wheels because these are the ones that I've just seen so much of. And honestly, they look so cute and they look delicious enough to eat. Not that I'm going to eat them, but I'm just saying they're very cute. So I decided to go with these and, you know, I don't know, maybe next year's splurge I'll get the Luminous wheels, you know, that could be fun. So, we're kind of getting somewhere. I'm getting used to having to put these on this way. I don't love it. It makes me feel like I'm going to damage the bearing. If there's any skaters out there, can you please just reassure me that this is not going to happen? That I'm not going to damage my bearings this way?
cute, right? Cute. Does that look right? I got pink and blue, pink and blue. Yeah, that's cute. Dude, I can't wait. Okay, that one down and let's go ahead and get started on skate number two. All right. Oh, and I didn't mention that the luminous wheels that I want to get are, I think I want to get the lime green ones, though I have seen people get the purple and the orange ones, and I think that that would look really good on this black skate, but yeah, I don't know. That's a problem for next year me, who hopefully has more money than this year me has, because this, this year me has been silly with her money and does not have enough for all these silly splurges. But the way I look at it is I am slowly and surely building a skate collection, but I'm also, you know, going to take care of my skates. Now, I'm not going to, like, make sure that they're always pristine, pristine. Like, you can tell that there's wear on the skate. And my Impalas look busted up because I have really loved them thoroughly. But... I also want to use this knowledge that I'm getting by doing all of this to educate everybody else. Not educate. That sounds so hoity-toity. Not educate, but, like, pass that knowledge for people who are looking to make purchases. And also, like, my opinions and... The things that I'm going to be talking about are going to be coming from a person who is, like, kind of cheap and not willing to pay high dollar for literally everything. So, like, I bought my Panther skates on sale last year when they were running a huge sale on the Moxie site. So, I got a good deal on them. Um, my first pair of skates were Impalas. I know people crap on them all the time, but I'm a poor girl at heart, so... You know, you're getting, you're getting opinions from somebody who, yeah, is not super well off. It's like a budget friendly kind of bit of advice, I guess. So that's kind of what you get with me. Now, obviously I'm not rolling around on Amazon skates and that's not anything to do against them. It's just my preference that the ones that I want to use are going to be you know, at least middle grade skates until, you know, hopefully one day I'll be able to afford like some moxie lollies, but you never know. I've also been frequenting um, online garage sales, secondhand stores, Facebook Marketplace, eBay, Craigslist, all of them for secondhand skates. So, That'll probably be how I get my hands on my first set of lollies, is they're probably going to be from Facebook Marketplace. I'm watching a set right now, and it's a really great setup. Um, the person has luminous wheels on them. Um, they're like a purple color. The wheels are purple, and the skates are purple, and they're gorgeous. So, like, their setup looks really good and they're asking for like $255 and I'm like that is a really incredible deal but also I have a brand new set of skates right here in my hands and I can't afford that but you know maybe one day unless something miraculous happens and I end up with like tons and tons of money <laughs> then I'll go crazy I guess but I don't foresee that happening all right they're on that's what they look like. Okay, so I'm going to pause for a minute and put these back on my Impala skates. And actually, if you want to watch those, you can watch that too. Well, there's the rub. I don't know where the hardware is. Hopefully, oh yeah, hopefully you can see. I'm going to go ahead and put my skates on. Still don't know how I feel about the colors with the black and the green. But you know what? Sometimes it's more important to have function over form. So let's put these bad boys on. And also like I'm excited because I've heard people talk about like how there's kind of um there's more 
found with these wheels. Why was that skate so tight? Tell me, please. There's more sound with these wheels. Um, so they have more of like, it's just a lot louder than other wheels. So that's very interesting. Um, I don't know why I'm excited about it. I just kind of have a feeling that I might possibly like it. I could also hate it though, because, um, you know, I'm kind of a self, self-conscious skater. I don't really want people to like look at me while I'm skating out and about because it's not like a huge thing in the city that I live in yet. We've got a small group that is trying to build up into something pretty cool, but I'm just shy, you know, so I don't think I want people to hear me skating down my street and be like, oh, what's that? And then they look outside and they just see my weird self hobbling down the street. Not graceful. You can't say I'm a graceful skater. I wish I were. I'm hoping these will help with that, but I don't think I'm a graceful skater. All right. We're close. We are very close. And I'll have to do my skate test in the house for now. Because it's rainy outside and I can't get to my skate spot. If the roads weren't wet, I would go outside, but I don't want to ruin my new bearings and heels. I don't know why I can't remember how to tie my skates. I've done that the past couple of times I have tied them. Tie those babies up. Oh, look how cute they are. Wow. Okay, can I sit up and not die? Scoot the chair over. Nice. I'm going to have to switch over to my phone now. So you can see. Here's what they look like. Um, I don't know about those colors. I mean, maybe they work with the green, but they're loud. They're not great on this floor. So the skates are on. I did a little bit of a test at my house, but I have a lin I have linoleum floors, so it really wasn't feeling very good on the linoleum. I didn't like it. Um, there is a part of my house that has like wood flooring. It's in the bedroom. There's not a lot of space. It felt great on that. So I'm here at the abandoned warehouse that me and my friends like to skate at. <laughs> um, it's perfect because there's like this giant canopy and it's covered so when it's hot it feels amazing. There's a giant parking lot so when I get the zoomies and I want some challenge I'll go through the parking lot. It's kind of like gently sloping so it's a little bit scary. Um, it feels absolutely amazing on this concrete. Like this is like the smoothest outdoor area that I can find to skate on besides like the skate park and I don't really go there because I'm a shy person. So this is perfect because it's literally abandoned. <laughs> There's a story behind it. I won't go into details in this video because <laughs> I don't want to reveal my location. But yeah, the wheels feel really good on the surface. It feels pretty smooth. Um, I do feel the bumps quite a bit. They're loud. And one thing I tested out in my house last night was I was kind of just jumping around like in the hallway and I noticed that it was a lot easier to jump. Um, I don't know if I want to do that while holding my new phone. <laughs> but yeah, something about the material, maybe because they're lighter what have you. They feel really good to jump. Turns. I couldn't do spins very well in my house on lino linoleum. I wish I could say that word. Um, it was kind of like dragging. Like, you can see how that kind of dragged. It made that sound. 
there is maneuverability, but when I was trying to do spins, it was just making a weird dragging sound. Like that. They feel pretty good. And there's Shane. <laughs> This is a harder surface. This concrete is bumpier. There's that crunch everyone's talking about with these wheels. They're louder. What's all this? Oh my gosh, it's an action figure. There's a broken action figure on the ground. What happened to you? Is it He-Man? Uh-oh. The okay. Where's his head? There's his head. I think it's He-Man. Or is it Conan the Barbarian? Well, you're mine now, He-Man. It was a rescue mission. What's the name of the place? Etheria? Eternia? Etheria? I think Etheria. Alright, let's put him in my pocket. No, not his head! Dude, that stinks. I mean, I'm glad I found him, but that's sad. Okay. Don't worry, I caught that. So don't worry, I caught that. I literally just, I just started filming.
This is the skate park. No, it's not a skate park. There's the skate park over there. I can't get on the skate park. Um, this is the tennis court that's basically abandoned next to the skate park. There's an amazing trail that goes all the way around this entire area. It's next to a middle school and it is now my favorite place to skate on my new wheels. Moxie Fun Days. It's probably the best, smoothest trail skating I've ever had, even with my outdoor wheels, the Sure Grip wheels. Nothing on it. They're loud, but they feel really good. I mean, I'm really, it's just so smooth. Making sure Rose doesn't attack. Don't attack Rose. Been rolling over the grass, like no problem. Turning pretty well. This feels good. Okay, well this is editing Jesse, and I forgot to basically film an outro while I was out there at the trail and the park, but essentially I feel like these wheels were a very good purchase. I would say that they were best out on the trail where it was kind of like like asphalt so even like the older asphalt which you could see on the trail that I was skating on um, the tennis court material uh, I don't live near a tennis court that is new and fresh and has that material over it so I haven't tried that yet I did not try it out at the skate park because I have um, just a little bit of nervousness about the skate park and there was someone else over there and I was worried about my dog Rose like running around and chasing that person so I just didn't want to subject them to that but it felt really good on the old tennis court it felt really good on the uh, freshly paved road right next to the trail it felt really really good on the trail I was so surprised yeah so I feel like it was a really good purchase it's not something that I think I would use indoors I haven't tried it out at the skate rink I can update later on that if I decide to go um, I'm a little bit of a hot mess right now because I really went for it when I was out there Anyways, thank you guys so much if you made it through the entire video. I apologize that it was so long, but I just feel like I wanted to add as much information in it as I could. If you like this kind of thing, let me know in the comments below. If you want to see me review other products, please tell me. Uh, I am still contemplating working on a late Impala review on my Impala skates and then my Moxie setup I can do a review on as well. I hope that you guys have a great day, a wonderful week, and stay cozy, my friends.